We're here at the two rivers, the, the first privately constructed urban node in East and Central Africa. Uh, we are celebrating 10 very exciting years since James Moria joined the Centum Group as the CEO. Please join me as we discuss more. My name is Pias Mushiri Mugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. Welcome, Elizabeth uh, Munga. Thank you, Pias. Good to have you here. Good to be here. Fantastic. Yes. So, Elizabeth, what exactly do you do at the Centum Group? Okay, um, I'm the Group Strategy Manager at Centum Group. Um, that means that I work closely with the Group CEO's office, that's uh, James Moria, in terms of formulating um, the strategies, um, both at the group level and within each our portfolio and subsidiary companies, mm -hmm. and continuously monitoring and tracking to ensure that we are executing according to plan, mm -hmm. and where then required, where we're off plan, making sure we then come up with the right um, measures and frameworks to be able to get us back on plan. Okay. Yes. So James is really big on delivering to promise. Yes. And uh, every time we make a strategy, we make promises to our investors and shareholders. And how has it been? That's your job to really make sure that we execute and deliver to promise. Mm. How has it been the last uh, 10 years since he became the CEO of Centum Group? So um, I think Centum and James has been very dedicated in terms of setting a clear direction in terms of where Centum is headed. Um, we've there have been various uh, strategies starting from Centum 1.0 to 2.0, and we're just completing now Centum 3.0 and going into. Centum 4.0, each of them a five-year strategic plan. Mm -hmm. um, very ambitious strategies, each of them, in terms of very clear objectives, in terms of um, the kind of returns we expect to deliver to our shareholders, mm -hmm. our investors. Um, in the current strategy, that's Centum 3.0. We had a, a target to deliver about 35% um, return um, to our investors. Uh, we've done well in terms of uh, we've uh, reached about 70 percent of our target to date mm. we despite a very tough economic environment that we've faced over the last five years mm. so um, james is always very hands-on in making sure that uh, we're delivering to the promise of our investors and he's not afraid to you know pull up his sleeves and get into the nitty-gritty of what needs to be done to to deliver we're in the business of investing or centum is in the business of investing and that means we monitor assets under management quite closely. In 2000 and 2008, first, first December 2008, when James joined, what were the assets under management, and what were, how much, how much were they in by the end of that strategy period? Is it Centum 2.0, and at the end of Centum 3.0, which will be ending when next year, yes. March? Yes. yes. So at the beginning of Centum 2.0, when James joined, uh, the assets and our management were at about six billion. Uh, in the first uh, strategy period that was Centum 2.0 that he led, uh, assets grew to about 29 billion assets in, man in management. Uh, and now over the 3.0 uh, strategic period, we've then grown assets to uh, 67 billion, as, as reported in our half-year results, mm. uh, 67 billion. So that you can see is a remarkable growth from just. 6 billion to 67 mm. billion mm. assets under management. Yeah. yeah. So as the <clears throat> as the head of strategy other than James, you're probably the only other person who has a very good view, area view of how the business is doing. And the business has moved from 6 billion to 67 billion. That's more than 10 times fold. Yes. What do you think has been the biggest driver of that very rapid growth? I would say one of the key drivers is, um, as you had mentioned, the culture to deliver to promise. James is very hands-on in terms of the management of each of our portfolio companies. We have monthly meetings um, with each of our, uh, of our portfolio companies and James, um, since I've worked with him, has never even missed one meeting um, in the entire time that uh, I've worked with him. So. He's very dedicated in terms of tracking the performance of, of each of the, the companies mm. and making sure that whatever is then needed to make sure we're delivering to plan is mm. then executed. And he mm. works closely with each of the management teams mm. across all the different uh, portfolios mm. and he's not afraid you know, to roll up his sleeves and, mm. be, and get into what needs to be done mm. in terms of delivering to promise. Mm. Yeah. Very interesting. Commitment, yes. always willing to roll up uh, his sleeves. So it's 10 years later and we are projecting forward uh, this now will become what centum 4.0 or 
what what is the outlook how do, what do you think will, will happen are we likely to continue on with that same pace um so what would be your parting shot to investors forward looking i think uh, forward looking uh, it's going to be a great remarkable success con- track record continued um, I think there is a great worth, ethic, worth ethic and culture within Centum where everybody is not afraid to put in um, the, the hours required and put in the effort required to be able to make sure that we deliver. Um, we are projecting, you know, uh, still a substantial uh, growth in assets, uh, targeting to hit over 100 billion um, in assets over the next strategic period. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're still very dedicated in terms of de- being the best in terms of delivery of return um, to our investors. And mm-hmm. we want to then also significantly increase our dividend payout mm-hmm. to our shareholders, mm-hmm. um, reduce um, uh, our, our debt and leverage going forward. Mm-hmm. And that will enable us to be more sustainable going forward in terms of our growth. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also going to see a lot of growth within our real estate business. Um, bringing in new investors, both within our real estate and private equity businesses, mm-hmm. um, and um, continue to grow the business um, in a more sustainable way. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think what really stands out is that the the, the impressive uh, track record of Centum over the last ten years is underpinned by a very strong work ethic culture, something that is very very difficult to imitate or replicate. So that's very reassuring. Yeah, it's really been good to have you, Elizabeth. I've really enjoyed this conversation. And I hope everybody out there also has enjoyed the conversation. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Paz Mushirimugo, the Managing Director of Nabu Capital. And you're watching Invest in Africa. Mm-hmm.